Hello everyone. Today we will learn about the types of joint. Classification of joints. What is a joint? A joint is a junction between two or more bones and cartilage. What is a junction? A junction is a point where two or more things are joined. So in short, a joint is a point where two or more bones are joined. So now let us dive into the classification part. The joint can be classified according to the structure. The structure which is present between the joint, which the structure which hold, holds the joint. The second is the function. The function, the primary function of the joint is mobility. So it can be classified according to how mobile the joint is. The third is the region, the north region, south region. No, no, just kidding, just kidding. We'll, we will get to know about the region part. And the fourth is the number of articulating bones which is present between the joint. So the classification of joints. As we have discussed earlier, it can be classified according to the structure, the function, the region and according to the number of articulating bones. Uh, let us do the easy part first, which is the regional classification. The regional classification is divided into three types. The skull type, which is immovable, the vertebral type, which is slightly movable and the limb type which is freely movable. After discussing about the regional classification which has the skull, vertebral and the limb type let us move on to the functional classification. The functional classification is according to the degree of mobility. It is divided into the synarthrosis, amphiarthrosis and diarthrosis joint. Synarthrosis. Syn refers to fixed or together which is united. These joints are united. The synarthrosis joint are immobile. Amphiarthrosis. Amphiarthrosis joint are slightly mobile. It is similar to the secondary cartilaginous joint, which is the structural classification, which we will discuss later. The third is diarthrosis. These are freely movable joints like the synovial joints. Now we have discussed about the regional classification and the functional classification. Now let us dive on to the structural classification. Structural classification is divided into the fibrous joint, cartilaginous joint and the synovial joint. Fibrous joints. It is divided into the sutures, syndesmosis and gum fossas. Fibrous joints. The bones are joined in fibrous joints. The bones are joined by the fibrous tissue. These joints are either immovable or permit a slight degree of movement. In sutures, the sutures are present only in the skulls. They are separated together by the connective tissue. The syndesmosis. It is a fibrous union between the bones. It may be represented like the interosseous ligament as in the inferior tibiofibular joint. The gum fossas. It is a peg and socket junction between the tooth and its socket. After discussing about the fibrous joint, let us discuss about the cartilaginous joints. In this, there are two types. The primary cartilaginous joint and the secondary cartilaginous joint. The cartilaginous joints, in this, the bones are joined by a cartilage. In the primary one, the bones are united by a plate of hyaline cartilage, so that the joint is immovable and strong. These joints are temporary in nature because after a certain age, the cartilaginous plate is replaced by bones. Example, the joint between the epiphysis and diaphysis of a long growing long bone. After discussing about the primary cartilaginous joint, let us talk about the secondary cartilaginous joint. In this, the articular surfaces are covered by a thin layer of hyaline cartilage and united by a disc of fibrocartilage. These joints are permanent and persist throughout life. An example of this would be pubic symphysis. The synovial joints. The synovial joints are the most evolved and therefore most mobile type of joints. It is divided into the ball and socket joint, the saddle joint, the condylar joint, ellipsoid joint, hinge joint, pivot joint and a plane joint. Now let us discuss about the last classification which is according to the number of articulating bones. In this the first is a simple joint. A simple joint when only two, are bone, two bones articulate example would be the interphalangeal joint which is present between your phalanges. The second is the compound joint. In this, more than two joints articulate within one joint capsule. Example would be a elbow joint, a wrist joint. The complex joint. When the joint cavity is divided by an intraarticular disc, example, 
temporomandibular joint and the sternoclavicular joint. To sum up this video, the classification of joints. In this, there are four types, the structural classification, the functional classification, the regional classification and according to the number of articulating bones. In the structural classification, we have three types, the fibrous, the cartilaginous and the synovial. In functional classification, we have more three types, which is the synarthrosis, amphiarthrosis and diarthrosis. In regional classification, also we have three types, which is the skull type, the vertebral type and the limb type. According to the number of articulating bones, we also have three types, which is the simple joint, the compound joint and the complex joint. I really hope this video made some sense and now the classification is clear. See you in the next video.